Megaline's dot plot view allows you to perform and visualize pairwise sequence alignments. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, customize, and interpret the dot plot. The first step is to load your sequences in Megaline. Do this by going to File, Enter Sequences. Now, you can perform a dot plot alignment using any two sequences, protein, DNA, or a combination of the two. For this example, I'm using two DNA sequences for the 18S ribosomal RNA gene from two different kinds of yeast. And once I have my two sequences loaded, I'm going to select both of them by holding down the shift key and then clicking the sequence names. And then I'll go to align, one pair, dot plot. The resulting dialog gives me some options to adjust alignment parameters. I'm going to leave these as they are and just click OK. And now the dot plot opens with a graphical view of my alignment. Here, each axis corresponds to a single sequence in the alignment. And the diagonal lines represent portions of those sequences that align to one another. So the length of each diagonal corresponds to the length of the matching region. And the color represents the alignment score, or quality of alignment, where cooler colors represent poor alignment scores, and warmer colors represent better alignment scores. So here you can see that there are many short regions with low scores and a few longer regions with better alignment scores. To see another view of the distribution of alignment scores, I can use the filter palette tool. So I'll click that and this opens a histogram showing alignment scores or color on the x-axis and number of occurrences for each score on the y-axis. And again, you can see there are many regions with pretty low alignment scores. I can filter out some of the lower scoring regions by clicking in the blue area, which changes the relative color scale, and then I'll click Filter. And now we can see that overall my sequence is aligned fairly well at the ends, as indicated by red and orange regions, but not as well in the middle, indicated by the blue regions. I can reset the view to the original display by using the Filter tool again, clicking Reset, and then Filter. To see a detailed view of how the sequences align in a given region, I can double click on one of the diagonal lines, and this opens an alignment view for that region. And here you can see that these sequences align pretty well in this region, as indicated by the blue matching bases, with a few mismatches as shown in red. So this explains the relatively high alignment score and the yellow color of the diagonal line. If you have further questions about the dot plot view or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.